What so proudly we hailed. Great acoustics in this room. Absolutely 10 out of 10. Fitman tips for rookies, brought to you by uh, Fitman Industries. Let's talk to you about something that you probably never really thought of because either you've bought wheels in the past or you just never made the mistake. But contrary to popular belief out there, there are some pretty good mistakes you can make when it comes down to buying your first set of wheels, especially when you're trying to nail down Fitman situations. A lot of times when people buy their wheels for the first time, they listen to their friends. The friends that usually have no idea what they're doing, they're usually the friends that have absolutely no idea what offset is, but they found the ones that look really cool because they're multi-piece and they saw their one friend on Instagram has it, which means now you have to have it. And then you buy the wheels and they stick out three and a half inches past your fender and you're thinking to yourself, why did I spend my tax return on these wheels? Because they look absolutely just plain dumb. Well, a lot of it comes down with just understanding some of like the basic fundamental things on understanding how fitment and how to buy wheels actually work. So we're here to give you a couple tips for our Fitment noobs out there because it's Fitment Industries. This is kind of what we do. So don't forget to subscribe. Check out Fitment Industries if you're looking for wheels, tire suspension. And of course, let's just jump right into it. Don't forget to subscribe, all of that junk. Number one thing that you guys have to remember when you're looking to buying wheels, when you're looking to dial in your Fitment is gonna be going down to just going to the basics of where you're gonna find information on your car. Now, we have a huge gallery at FitmentIndustries.com. It's got like 12,000 vehicles right now that grows every single month because every single time I change the number, or every single time I say the number, it changes, and then the video dates itself, and it's really awkward, but it's consistently growing. It allows you to see what sort of specs other people are running. There is an older variant that you can also use in the interwebs that you probably haven't heard of in a good long time, and they're called, you're gonna wanna come in on this one, you're just gonna wanna come, just zoom in, and it's called Forums are something that have had a lot of this information for quite a long time. And if you're looking to just understand the basics of what your car is going to fit, a lot of times forums can be a really great place to at least start. They're gonna give you some basic ideas on what sort of wheels that they went with, what sort of styles look good on your car, and then obviously what size wheels they went with. The only problem with a lot of forums is that they don't usually include offset because a lot of times for some reason people just don't think offset is important to let people know when they're telling them what wheel size they have. It's like 18 by eight and a half. What offset? I don't know. And that like seems to be a normal thing. So if you're looking on the forums and you are seeing certain sizing, but you don't see offset, don't just jump on whatever offset you want because you have to remember that offset is gonna make the difference between your wheels uh, being you know flush to being maybe 10 or 15 millimeters poked depending on what sort of offset you get. So just have to take that into consideration. Another great thing that you can do if you're, especially if you're like a fitment like noob, you just never done it before, is measure it out for yourself. And if you're wondering how to measure it out for yourself, we actually have a video that you can watch that can teach you the whole boring way of doing it, but it's actually a really fun way to learn a little bit more about your vehicle and dial in perfect fitment. If you're going for a static setup or if you're going for a bag setup, a lot of times when you can measure out your wheels, you're going to get a much cleaner setup than you would if you just kind of guessed. Now at the same time, we would reflect back to our indirect plug of checking out our gallery at fitmentindustries.com, but if you don't want to do that and you want to measure it, you can do all of that. You can measure for the diameter, you can measure for the width, you can measure for the back spacing, the front spacing, that's going to give you the offset, your center line, you're going to be able to figure out your mounting pad, your surface and all that sort of stuff. And you're gonna get a pretty cool sort of process of figuring out what wheels fit your car. Now, the only thing with that is that if you're a fitment noob and you've never done it before, you should probably measure it like three or four times so that you don't make a mistake. Another thing that we usually get with a lot of people is that they think they dial in their fitment right with their wheels, but then they don't take any accounts in for tires. You have to remember that tires play like this quintessential role in terms of making your fitment either look really, really good or really, really bad. If you're stretching some serious wheels on some 18 by eight and a half, and you're on stock suspension, it's not gonna look the best. But if you pair that eight and a half with something that has a meteor sidewall, it's actually not gonna look that bad until you actually get your lowering springs or coilovers or anything like that. The biggest thing with tires is that they do add, well, circumference. They add more to your wheel. And if you're not taking that into account when you're measuring your wheels, or you're not taking that into account when you're looking at what sort of setup you wanna have, or the fitment measurements or anything like that, you're gonna make a pretty big mistake because any sort of wheel, unless you're going into extreme low size aspect ratios, is gonna probably mess the whole thing clean up. And two more things that you probably wanna think about that you're probably not, especially when you're doing your first set of wheels for purchase. And I got something in my eye, so I'm gonna talk because I'm rubbing this out because everybody always loves when I do that and I'm gonna make my face red. 
red because I'm white and there's a white screen right there and it's gonna make my face red. But you have to think about your suspension and then you have to think about your big brake kit. You have to think about if you have any sort of larger brakes on your vehicle. STIs are iconic for having it. There's a lot of other vehicles out there that have bigger brake kits that you have to pay attention to where certain wheel designs will not fit on your car. Don't, don't, if you think there's gonna be a problem because you got Brembo brakes on your car, you just gotta ask and be like, hey, will this fit? And a lot of times, actually, if you get your wheels at feminineindustries.com, which is kind of sort of a plug, sorry about it again, we'll actually double check with you because we don't want to take the wheels back and then there's a huge return thing and that's a huge pain in the ass for everybody involved. Whereas if we just tell you at the get-go that it's not gonna fit, it's usually just a win-win for everybody. It's something to take into consideration. Suspension is the same way, depending on what sort of suspension that you're planning on getting, that can also affect your fitment. If you're measuring for your wheels at full droop, you're also making a mistake, which is a bonus point for you. Droop is when the whole suspension is like this, you need it like that, but that's besides the point. Really, when it comes down to suspension, it's just making sure that you're not going to have any sort of larger suspension component that would run into your tire as what you have currently, if you have an OEM suspension system or something of that nature. And really at the basis of what you want, it's really how you want it to look. Do you want a tuck setup, a poke setup? Do you want a staggered setup, a flush setup, or anything in between? You're going to want to know that before you go into buying your wheels. A lot of times people will buy spacers over time to kind of get that fitment if they really want to, but you can accomplish a lot of that aggressive look without having to add spacers as long as you research everything you need to know before you buy your first set of wheels. And that's ideally and realistically what we're actually here for is with the gallery and with answering the questions and all that sort of stuff. So if you've gotten through this video and you're like, this is your first time and you're like, I'm still as confused as I was before, head over to feminineindustries.com. You can enter in your make model, see what fits. And if you have questions, you can email us, bug us, drop a message, drop a comment, drop an IG tag, drop a handle, whatever it's called that you need to do to get in touch with us because we have like 40 people out there that that's what they do. So let us know what sort of questions you guys want us to answer next, whether it's a noob thing or whether it's an expert thing in terms of fitment related questions. Don't forget to check out feminineindustries.com for wheel tire suspension. I'm Alex and subscribe, please. Puts the ramen on the table and I love it. We'll see you later.